And a way to go from the 1400 meter marker. White Cedar the Grey broke the line beautifully, the early leader. Gentleman's Way is right there. Dutch Alley Mohican, Lucio. High voltage hard held in the early stages. Father's Frost and Living Waters as we read back through the field. Pinch pot five off them. Walton Hall, Red Sleeves and Cap. Sacred Journey and Galway, the last two. White Cedar coming towards the 1,000 metre marker from Gentleman's Way, racing in second. On the outside, Mohican, Lucio, Dutch Alley's bottle between them, Father's Frost. High Voltage got four lengths to make up, Living Waters, Pinch Pot, Walton Hall, Sacred Journey, towards the back of the field, Galway. Homeward bound, White Cedar leading them by a length and a quarter. In second, Gentleman's Way, Mohican. High voltage has come under a ride to the outside, and Dutch Alley travels quite smoothly, but he's got his three lengths to make up on White Cedar. And it's White Cedar who's gone clear, coming to the 300. Father's Frost, Dutch Alley. Gentleman's Way is running on strong on the grandstand side. Dutch Alley now got to get to White Cedar over the last 200. Gentleman's Way is running on strong on the outside. White Cedar, Gentleman's way between them Dutch Alley it's gonna be a three-way photo gentleman's way got there from Dutch Alley White Cedar and Walton Hall number five gentleman's way he went down very early the son of path fork and Tristan Godden will get up on the post wins a close decision Dutch Alley, White Cedar's right there, only a long neck separating the trio past the post. Walton Hall, Mohican, Living Waters. White Cedar was in front, the grey. Dutch Alley had every chance between them, but Gentleman's Way, extreme right-hand side, comes home best of all. Inside the last 100 metres, and Gentleman's Way, Dutch Alley, White Cedar, Titanic struggle to the post, but Gentleman's Way gets there and wins a close decision. Back to the studio. Pillay's the penultimate race of the day has gone the way of the Dennis Bosch trained gentleman's way for Tristan Godden and some very happy owners that I'm going to be looking forward to chatting to in a moment but uh, let's talk to Dennis not to be an after the race merchant by any means uh, he's looked well in the parade ring and uh, I said to Cliffy Miller as the horse walked and I said wow who's that he said that's Dennis's horse Went to post beautifully. Your horses are in a good space. Well done. Thank you so much, Warren. But first of all, I've got to thank Mark. Uh, a lot, a lot of hard work is put into this horse. I think it's around about four months he hasn't run. Uh, he, has a, he has an ability. Uh, and to come out after a, a few months, uh, he's quite naughty in the pens. And uh, I think we've got on top of him. So a big thank you to Mark again and, 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 and the staff at home, you know, to work with him. He's a difficult boy. And uh, again, Ush, Sugen and Harlem and the family, you know what they like in racing. They're very passionate about their horses. So it's been a while that they've been standing in the winner's enclosure. So I'm just pleased for them as well to finish off the season with a horse like this. I think he's, you know, if he races back to back, he can win a few more races, you know. Uh, he's lying up second, and I thought he's going to fall into a heap, maybe. But I gave him a chance this morning. I, I know he's got a little bit of an ability. How, you know, if he starts behaving, we might see a, a horse that can win a few races. He's only had five or six yes. runs for three wins. So again, well done to Mark. Well done to Ush, and I, I think a great ride by Tristan. You know, patient sat down and got up where it was important. I thought I got beat, but anyway, well done, Tim. I think it's superb ride. Lovely, Dennis. Lovely chatting. Well done. Thank you, Warren. Now, there we go from uh, an ex-top rider, Dennis Bosch, telling you a good ride and uh, wonderful uh, urgings from the saddle. You gave uh, a few of uh, your supporters some heart-stopping moments because uh, you were coming, but the line was, seemed to be coming quicker. But a wonderful ride. You got up where it mattered most. Well done.
Yes, uh, thanks, Mr. Mfane, for those kind words. Um, I just have to firstly thank Mike. I know how much work he's done on this horse. He's not an easy customer at the gate. Um, he went into this race, he was, his work was good, and once again, a big thanks to Mr. Bosch. He gave me all the confidence in the world. He told me, if this horse behaves today, you'll be a big runner, and, and that he did today. One more ride, I think it's Fever in the next, uh, in that sort of a field, worth maybe including in quartet. Yes, I think in the larger end of quartet. Once again, uh, I want to say well done to the owners, the Palais, they're here today to lead in their horse. Um, big support of mine from day one. They always look after me and, and give me words of advice. So nice to ride a winner for them. Once again to Mr. Bosch, thank you for the support. He's been throwing me a few rides. Uh, nice to bring one into the winner's box for him. Well done, well done. It's a double for you today, isn't it? Yeah, two. two. There we go. It's a double, yeah. Let's get Mrs. Pillay into the winner's enclosure. First time I'm interviewing her, and uh, that's, um, let's get the microphone into position. There we go. Okay. Well done, ma'am. And uh, we so know much. you love your horses, you love the racing game, but it, an exciting finish. Yes, I was waiting for this one. And, uh, and I was missing a photo with Tristan in the seat. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I was getting a bit nervous when I saw him uh, get loaded in first. <laughs> I thought, oh, please, God, because <laughs> we've had a bit of trouble with him. But I'm so glad. Thank you to Uncle Dan. Um, and the guys at, um, at, the, at his racing stables, yes. we've been so patient with him, and uh, I've been waiting for this day oh, <laughs> just well to done. see him progress. <laughs> Absolutely, and it's nice when Dennis tells you, you know, he, he's, you can see he's a bit of a naughty sort, but uh, Dennis will get on top of him and sort things out. And yeah, literally get on top of him. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, we don't want him to do that, but because uh, there's more in the tank if Dennis can keep this horse's uh, temperament right. I hope so. He's a lovely, a beautifully bred horse, and thank you to uh, Highlands Ridgemont as well. They bred him. Uh, sure, it's a story when we bought him, so I really hope he does well. Thank you so much. And thanks to our family at home, Uncle Dan. And well done to Richard for yesterday's win. Uh, very proud of all the guys that raced yesterday right. and the owners as well. Thank no, you so lovely. much. We're starting to see your colors all over the country. Long may the winners come and all the best to you and your family, ma'am. Thank ma you so much. All the lovely. Best. Fantastic. Right. Well, passionate owners, that's what we like. Passionate people, we love it. We absolutely love it. And here are the pillows are thrilled with Gentleman's Way's victory and their colours are starting to be seen all over the country and we wish them all the very best. Just before we go, to be remiss, a lot of people are asking, who's Mike? They're talking about Mike. Mike's done a lot of work and Mike Shaw as well as uh, a whole host of these horse whisperers do some work with these difficult horses behind the scenes and they deserve all the credit that they can get. Gentleman's Way has won it. There's one more to come. It's got quite chilly here at Hollywood Bets Gravel but no doubt we'll do our best to keep you warm. Welcome to the winners and...